You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up to bat. Bah. Tell me I hate this fucking go. Tell me I hate this fucking go. It's your boy Lay Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time, appreciate life in 2021. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. Now, you already know what I need from you, man. I need you to drop with you in the chat in the comment section. Let me know that you with me, man. We back with another Nukes Top 5. Now, this is five scary ghost videos you haven't seen before. Let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, man, I've been doing pretty good on these, man. You know what I mean? Well, let's go ahead and get it. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. Top five ghosts, call on camera. Open house. A couple of months back, we talked about TikToker turned YouTuber Nick Semino and all the strange unexplained events he has caught around his haunted home. Oh my God, spirit, enough. <laughs> like stuff is just being thrown from the and now the TV's off. <sighs> now what makes Nick's story truly unique is that his alleged taunting didn't just stop at his house. Whatever it might be that seems to haunt Nick, it also followed him to his workplace what? and was witnessed by several coworkers. Okay, Hell guys, we were nah. literally just about to leave my store when sh just started flickering again. This is the second time it's happened. My car's over there, and I'm shaking right now. Nick, did you do this on purpose? I did you fake it? No, I'm gonna be out of here, Nick. Stop! Stop. You're literally. Are you? No, wait, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> that shit follow him. Like, this is not a joke. Oh my god. <gasps> I the music well, months later, and the haunting at Nick's home has not stopped. In fact, it's worse than ever. Nick wow, is now wait. in the process of making longer videos for his YouTube channel, and he allowed us to this. premiere this video of a strange recent incident exclusively on Nuke's Top 5. Why don't you just leave? Is there anyone down here? Is there a reason you're coming out right now? Spirit? No way. No way. Literally like... Th Spirit! Is it because we're going to be leaving this... Oh my god! Can you please stop, spirit? Spirit, Where stop! Are? Enough! The other TV's on. Spirit, enough! Stop. I just... This is... Okay, this, this, shit is, is, the, this is the worst it's ever been. Hello? Holy shit, holy shit, the light. I have a good response right now. I hear something in the kitchen. Hello? I hear the stove clicking again. It's moving still. Oh my god! See, now this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> Imagine it locks us out. Oh, that light's flickering, and that light just went off. And all the lights just went off, except that one flickering. This is insane. I swear to god, I've never had this much happen when I'm with someone. Everything is off, oh my god. Literally everything's off. Turn this light on. Turn everything back on. Okay. Hell and no. more are still falling. <sighs> this is crazy. 
Everything is open. I don't know what to do right now. I really don't. I... It's... This is, like, worse than my store. Now, could it be a hoax? Well, obviously, anything could be a hoax. But Nick and his family had some pretty expensive damages from this very incident. Okay. Aftermath. Damn. Okay, then. Nick says that after all of this crazy paranormal activity, he and his family finally decided to just move from their home. For more updates on Nick Semino's haunting, you can check out his YouTube channel where he plans to post longer clips of his supernatural encounters. The House in the Woods Over on the channel Punk Rock TV, two of the team members are exploring an old isolated abandoned house deep in the forest. It is said that a young girl's life was taken inside the decaying walls of this structure. Local legend says that this house is extremely haunted, not only by the ghost of the girl, but many claim to have seen other apparitions in the home as well. At first, as they explore, they don't find much. But then, something Truly chilling. Y otra gracias a nuestra amiga Chelly vinimos a estas casas porque no las conocíamos. Ella se ve la ubicación. Pero así que están bastante impresionantes, digo, las locaciones que tenemos nosotros. Pero nunca había como una casa así, la neta. Así que, pues, ¿qué? Vete, vete. Güey, no mames. Güey, verga, se escuchan niños allá afuera. Aguanta, 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 aguanta. Hold on. No mames. No, no, no quiero ni subir. Por favor. Good evening. Did you see it? What looks to be two very pale children peek out from behind an open doorway down the hall and the Punk Rock TV team makes a quick exit. But the lead investigator is determined to head back inside to try to find an explanation. It Bro, didn't go well. All over. Aguanta, aguanta, aguanta. I got chills es que all se... over. I have fear, but this is part of my channel, it's mentira. No, no. Aguanta. They go back in. Toma, I have a little bit of fear. Aguanta. The upstairs rooms are all empty. No sign of the mysterious children in sight. Puta, mi cámara se desafocó, güey. Pero no hay ni madres, güey. And with that, the explorers have had about enough of the chilling abandoned house in the woods. You can check out this full investigation as well as Punk Rock TV's other explorations and ghost hunts over on their YouTube channel, Punk Rock TV. Buenas noches. That shit could be fake. Red door, yellow door. Natalie J and her friends are playing the scary sleepover game Red Door, Yellow Door. Wow. Now, if you want to try it, you'll just have to look that up on your own. But I will say that one of the rules of the game is that if you see someone while in the supposed, quote, trance state, you're never supposed to talk to them, as it is said that it's not a real person, but an evil presence. 
Red door, yellow door, any other color door. 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 What do you see? It's like a purple door, red door, and a yellow one. Are you in the room? Yeah. Oh, sh oh shoot! I'm on the street. Oh no! No, you better wake him up. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Damn. Wake him up. Now, I'm not even going to try to pretend that I know what's going on here. Right. I'll only say that if this is all a hoax, then that was some pretty impressive acting because that seemed like a legitimate freak out. Oh no. No, you better wake him up. Wake him up. Damn. You can watch the two part video series on Natalie J's TikTok. Something upstairs. Fuck. Visitors to Sean Lamson's house have had some strange encounters in one particular upstairs room. His friend Andrew says that his children have always been afraid of that room whenever they came for a visit, and that his three year old son says that, quote, monsters come out of the small attic door in the room. Andrew's older son claims that he once saw a dark figure inside the empty bedroom. However, the house's owner, Sean Lamson, says that he never really believed that there might be anything supernatural in the house, at least until this night. Now, keep in mind, Sean is in the process of moving out of his house, and the home itself is set to be demolished. There's no one else inside, and all windows and doors are closed and locked. Is it coming from the back room? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to step this. What the f Jesus Christ. Pop, pop. We're done. Oh, she oh, no. fell. I know. Oh, what the f is that? I don't know. Are you okay? Yeah. She left? Uh, let's go. Something's, let's it. it's, <laughs> dude, something started running at the fucking door when I put the camera up there. Uh, what? Oh my god. I missed okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> no. That. Something started running at the Mother. door. Oh my god. Hey, hey. Oh, the hell with that. <laughs> oh my god. As they go up to investigate the strange sounds from the room, something seems to charge the door. They just make a run for it, Sean's friend taking a hard faceplant in the process. Jesus Christ! Oh, 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 oh no! I don't know. Are you okay? Since this video, Sean Lamson has returned to the house to investigate the strange sounds. You can see more over on his YouTube channel. A whisper on the wind.
This next clip is from Big Brother in Brazil in 2004. In the clip, one of the contestants named Sita is sunbathing when she suddenly hears a very strange voice calling her name. But no one is calling her name. In fact, she is all alone outside until one of her roommates comes out to join her. Now, this is where things get very weird. Later, Sita is called into the production room by the Big Brother producers. She finds out that unfortunately, her very sick sister Gloria has just passed away. Stranger, her sister passed away at almost the exact same time that Sita heard the mysterious voice calling her name. E ontem, o que que aconteceu exatamente que foi tão impressionante? Você ouviu alguém te chamando e era o que meia hora, 45 minutos depois da morte da Glória. O que que você ouviu? Você ouviu ela te chamando? Ouvi. Mais de uma vez? Muito mais. Só dizia o seu nome? Só o meu nome. Aí eu, ach eu achei que fosse minha imaginação. Aí eu fiquei procurando. Eu procurei as pessoas sem ninguém. A única pessoa que estava era a Thaís. Lavando tênis de costas. Now bear in mind this was all broadcast live on Brazilian TV. So, is this proof of life after death? Is it proof that loved ones can contact us from beyond the grave? Or is it just a very, very odd coincidence? Let me know what you think. All right, that was five scary ghost videos you haven't seen before. Whoa, that was creepy. A couple of those in there was real creepy, man. But if you made it to the end, man, drop real one. Yeah, it was a couple, I got chills, you know what I'm saying? I still got chills right now, I'm not even gonna cap. Uh, that was a creepy one. But you already know, man, self-love and positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.